Hey everyone, Tracy here with Paper Closet Designs. In today's video, I want to show you how to assemble the strawberry basket box card. So let's jump in and go ahead and get started. Um, you'll get some pieces with it. So this is the front of your box. It has the little box with the railings on it. These two flowers and this piece, this lattice piece, are on the back of your card or the the back of yeah the back of the card this is the card base and this longer piece is the back and then this will be the front I'll show that to you in just a second and then you have the three insert pieces and an outside piece and I did go ahead and glue a couple of these just to get started to show you what to do so this first piece um, it has the the outline piece or the shadow piece and it has the large flower and the strawberry and I've already glued it together your third insert piece will have three strawberries and the large flower and I've glued it together and then we're going to do two and one. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the second one and it has the small flower and a strawberry and the easiest way to do this is because the strawberries aren't perfectly symmetrical is line up your strawberry front with the back piece. The back piece pokes through and shows your seeds. And then make sure that it's going to line up to your shadow piece before you glue anything together. Okay, so we, we know that's good. I'm going to go ahead and take my glue and just put a little bit of glue on the back of that strawberry. I do use a glue that will dry clear because it might, some of the glue might ooze through those seed holes. And um, if it does, you want it to be able to dry clear. Okay, on this one, the strawberry goes on first and then the flower just gonna take my little flower and glue it right there and there is just a little tiny peak of the green showing through it kind of gives it a little bit of a dimension and so that all the layers don't blend in together okay and then our center of the flower. Once you have the flower on, then you can put your leaf on and decide which way you want it to go. There's not a shower, a shadow for the leaf because it's smaller and you might want it to go one direction or another. And I'm going to slip it right there behind the flower and just put it on there. Okay, so that is the second insert and you'll know what it is because it has the number two cut out of it. Then the first one is the same. It has the large flower and the strawberry. And actually on this one, I'm going to put the flower on first. With the larger center. And again, a little tiny bit of green poking through, but not, not very much. Okay, we're going to do the same thing. With our strawberry, I'm going to match them up and then make sure that they lay down and they do so we're ready to go. This card has been a really popular card um, it, and it's just so fun and it's perfect for probably more for spring and summer but you could use it all summer long or even in the fall or even in the winter, if you have somebody that just loves strawberries and daisies, and it's just a fun little card. Okay, and then we're going to glue our leaf on there. Again, no shadow on the leaf, just so that you can lay it whichever direction you want it to go. Okay, and there are all of the insert pieces. So you have one, two, and three. We have our outside, and now we're going to take our card base, and I'm going to fold it so all of the bands are up. All right, and this one does go together a little bit different than the, my other box cards. So the first thing we're going to want to do is take our lattice piece, and we're going to glue it to the back. Bring it over here. I can't, there's a glare in my window. I'm having a hard time seeing what I'm doing, so I have to bring it out closer to me. Okay. 
going to go ahead and glue that right on there. And there's a little bit of shadow poking through it. And again, the white glue or the clear glue will dry clear and you won't be able to see all that. All right, then we're going to flip it over. I'm going to put tape on that back tab right there. Fold it over. I'm going to fold the back down towards the table and then this left side I'm going to fold it over and it should match right up there against the score line. Fold it flat, fold it flat. I'm using some older cardstock and it just didn't cut super, super well, but there you go. Okay, so now once you have that done, we're going to go ahead and glue on our box front. And you could actually cut this out of a darker brown. I think on the video or the picture that I did for the display, um, this is a darker brown and then these are even darker. But like I said, I was using some older um, cardstock that I had on hand, so I made it the same color. I'm just going to Tape that on there, and you can actually even tape this on here before you folded it. I just wanted to make sure I've got it right lined up against those fold lines. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and put our rails on there. The, the fatter one goes on the top. It's fat and has a little bit more of a rounded edge. So it's going to go on the top, and I just kind of want to center it right there. And then this one goes along the bottom. There we go. Now, I have changed the way I've done my box cards. Like I said, this is a little bit of an older file. Um, so they, the new ones go together a little bit different, but not, not a whole lot. Okay, so I'm going to take this first insert piece and I'm going to turn the tabs towards me or up. I'm going to flip it over and put my tape on the back side. And this really does work much better with glue, but I don't want to take the time to hold it. So then all I'm going to do is I'm going to slip these tabs right inside so that the edge of the tabs are at the front of the card. I think you can see what I'm doing there. Fold it down to get a good press on both sides. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing with the second piece. I'm going to fold those tabs up. Flip it over, put tape on the back of those. And then again, just slide it in there. This time with the edge running right up against the edge of that first insert piece. take the third one and we're going to do the same exact thing. I'm going to pull these up, flip it over and put tape on the back of those. And then insert them there again with that edge right against the back edge of that second insert piece. down get a good press okay then to finish the box I'm going to take my two smaller strawberries and I'm just going to glue them right to that top piece or excuse me the top of that back piece so I need to put my little centers in 
and you can do the flowers all the same color or you could change them up a little bit I did the white daisies but they would be really pretty with pink flowers or or two different colors do the bigger flowers in one color and the smaller flowers in another color um, I've seen some things that some of my gals have done and they've done amazing beautiful things you can take your front pieces right here and run them through an embosser and give it some texture really color up these flowers um, it just is a beautiful card and you can add so much to it okay and then this front piece is going to go right here on the edge and you can either just glue it on directly or put it on with some foam pop dots which is what i'm going to do just cut a couple pieces from my foam tape Whip it over. Like I said, this is just a fun, fun, really pretty card. And you can make it cutesy or very elegant, whatever you want to do. Okay, and there is your strawberry basket box card. Folds flat. You, it fits a regular envelope. And you just pull it out and you can set it on your desk or... Um, wherever to display. It also has a nice area in the back that you can hand stamp or write a sentiment. You could even put a gift card on there or whatever you want. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please hit subscribe down below and don't miss any of my videos. Have a great day!